Home sweet home. What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Look, an invitation. Hansel and Gretel have invited us to lunch at their gingerbread house. When? Right now. Go, go kitty kitties, let's go. go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran straight through the woods to Hansel and Gretel's gingerbread house. Oh, Gordy, you made it! Wow! Those chair legs look like peppermint sticks. That's because they are peppermint sticks. You mean you can eat all of this? Yeah, sure. Mmm, what smells so good? That's the special lunch we made just for you. Cream soup and fish fritters. Those are our favorites. And there's a special surprise for dessert. What, what is, is it? it? If we told you, it wouldn't be a surprise. We'll be right back with the soup. Mmm, this candlestick tastes like licorice. And this lamp tastes like a sugar cookie. Yummy. I wonder what these crayons taste like. Yuck, like, like crayons. crayons. Kate, the television looks like chocolate. It is chocolate! Mm. Lunch is served! First course, dreamy, creamy soup! Ooh. Sorry, I guess we're just not hungry for soup. It's okay, you'll love the next course. Fish fritters! Sorry, we can't eat that either. What a shame. They made them just for you. Yeah, well, we'll just have to go straight to the big surprise. Five layer triple chocolate fudge cake. Oh, I'm sorry. We can't eat a bite. <laughs> but we worked so hard to make your favorites. Oh, we really hurt their feelings. I feel terrible. And so does my stomach. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's the matter, kitties? We've ruined the lunch Hansel and Gretel made for us. How did you ruin it? We didn't eat any of the food they made. Not the cream soup or the fish fritters or the triple fudge cake. You don't like those foods? Are you kidding? We love them. Then why didn't you eat them? We weren't hungry. How come? Did you eat lunch before you came? No, but I did eat some licorice candlestick. And I ate some sugar cookie lamp. And we shared the whole TV set. But why did you eat all that candy if it was almost lunchtime? Because it tasted so good. And how did lunch taste after all of that candy? We don't know, because it ruined our appetites. And Hansel and Gretel's feelings. I understand. Sweets taste delicious, but too many of them can really spoil your appetite. And that can make the whole meal a lot less fun for everyone. Thanks, Thanks Mom. Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. Only this time, we'll wait until after lunch to eat sweets. So everyone can enjoy the meal together. Now, now we know, know, so back we go! go. Kid and Kate started their gingerbread house adventure all over again. But this time when they saw all of the sweet things. A licorice candlestick. I bet it's delicious. Not as delicious as the sugar cookie lamp. Or this chocolate television. Want a taste? Just a tiny one. We don't want to spoil our appetites. Mm. Lunch, Lunch is served. And by not spoiling their appetites, Kit and Kate were able to enjoy the most delicious lunch they'd ever had. Five layer triple chocolate fudge cake. Just a little piece, please. Yeah, we want to save room for some TV. <laughs> <laughs> Where will we go? Who will we be? 
What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> Too few clues. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, detective hats. And magnifying glasses. Let's be detectives. Yeah, and catch a thief. Hurry, there's no time to waste. Go, go kitty kitties, let's go. Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran straight to the scene of the crime, the Royal Gallery. Thank goodness you're here. Someone's stolen one of our three jeweled treasures, the emerald egg. Did anyone see the thief? Yes, there were three witnesses. They saw who took it. What did you see? <coughs> he says the thief was gray with big ears. Hurry, let's get him. <coughs> Sorry, there's no time to waste. The thief might get away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It didn't take long for the detectives to find who fit the clues. Ta-da! Here's your thief. You see, he's gray and has big ears. I ain't done nothing. <laughs> what do you mean it's not him? He's gray with big ears. Then who just stole the ruby raspberry? It's gone. gone. Looks like you didn't do it, Mouse. You're telling me. We need more information, fast. So what did you see? <laughs> he had a long nose too? Gray, big ears, long nose. Got it, let's go, Kate. <laughs> No time! We've got a thief to catch! And with their new clue, the detectives found their next suspect in no time at all. We got your thief! I didn't take anything. What? Of course he's the thief. He's gray with big ears and a long nose. Then who stole the diamond donut? Huh? All three treasures gone. Now we have to close the museum. And by the way, you're fired! <clears throat> this is awful. How did we mess up so badly? I haven't got a clue. Then along came a mysterious stranger. Extra bad detectives ruin case. That's us. We kept catching the wrong guy. Weren't there witnesses to give you clues? Three. The first one said the thief was gray with big ears, so he ran and caught a mouse. But he wasn't the thief. The second one said he had a long nose, too. So he ran and caught an aardvark. But it wasn't him, either. What'd the third witness say? We didn't ask. It was taking too much time, so we ran. Too much time? But didn't catching the wrong guys take even more time? Well, yeah. And that just helped the thief steal more treasures. Hey, I get it. When you rush and do something before getting all the facts, you end up getting the wrong answer. Sounds like you finally got a clue. Thanks, Thanks Mom. Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Kit, let's try again. But this time we'll get all the clues first. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their investigation all over again, but this time they made sure to get all the clues before trying to figure out who the thief was. Gray, big ears, long nose, and really big. Like him? Mm-hmm. May we look in your bucket? The emerald egg! The ruby raspberry! And the diamond donut! Great work, Kit and Kate. You saved the jewels and the museum. Okay, mister. Why'd you do it? I want to be a pirate, and I need treasure to lock up in me treasure chest. The only thing that's gonna get locked up is you in jail. And by getting all the facts before jumping into action, Kit and Kate solved the mystery and got their man. Uh, I mean, elephant. Extra, extra, clever kitties, crack case. Yeah! Woo! We did it! Yeah! We did it! We did it! Where will we go? Who will we be? 
What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> Drop everything. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, Kate! Flight jackets! Let's work on a cargo plane! Yeah! And we can deliver things all over the world! Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, kitties, let's go! Kate and Kate jumped out of their magical box and reported to work at the airport. Ready for duty, sir! Kittens, I need you to sort out these supplies, pack them into these crates, and load them onto the plane. We'll deliver them later today. Yes, sir! The tools go in the yellow crate. The soccer equipment goes in the blue crate. And the fishing supplies go in the red crate. Yes, sir! And don't be dawdling, because you never know when we'll get that call to take off. Yes, sir! Kit and Kate got right to work, sorting the cargo into the different boxes. This saw goes here in the yellow box with the tools. And this fishing line goes here in the red box. And this soccer ball goes... Hey, Kate, catch! Kit and Kate found so many fun things to do that pretty soon they forgot all about getting those crates packed up. Hello? Time for takeoff. Take your places on the plane. Yes, sir. What do we do, Kit? We barely packed anything. Just throw everything into the crates. But... Hurry! The plane took off, and soon Kit and Kate were high in the sky. Attention, kittens! We're coming up on the drop sites. Drop the cargo box that matches the color light. Yes, yes sir. sir! It's yellow, the tool crate. It's blue, the soccer crate. It's red, the fishing crate. But when the yellow crate landed, Builder Duck couldn't find what he needed to build his house. And when the blue crate landed, Soccer Duck couldn't find anything he needed for his game that day. And when the red crate landed, Fisherman Duck couldn't find anything to go fishing with. Whew. Looks like we did it, Kate. Kittens, I just got radio calls from the drop sites. The supplies were all mixed up, and now none of the ducks can do what they needed to do. Sorry, Sorry sir. Hmm. Wow, we ruined everything. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kitties? We packed all the crates wrong. And now none of the ducks got what they needed. How come you packed the crates wrong? Was it too complicated? No, it was easy. So there wasn't enough time, is that it? There was plenty of time, but we used it up playing games. Well, did you have fun playing? Yeah, we had fun, but now the ducks are having a terrible time. Oh, I understand. When you have a job to do, you need to finish it before you start playing. Otherwise, you might run out of time. Thanks, Dad! Hey! How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kit. But this time we won't play around until after we finish our job. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their airport adventure all over again. But this time... The saw goes here in the yellow box. This fishing line goes here in the red box. And this soccer ball goes here in the blue box. Kid and Kate finished packing everything into the crates without playing around. And this time when they dropped them, the ducks got exactly the supplies they needed. Congratulations, kittens, on a job well done. And now it's time for something else. Yes, sir? It's time to play. Yes, sir! Yay! Kate, catch! <laughs> Where will we go? Who will we be? 
What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> the Wishing Stars. What do you want to play today, Kit? Let's look in the box. Look, Kit, a telescope. We can be astronomers. And look at the stars. From the tippy top of Mount Twinkletop. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's go! Kit and Kate jumped out of their magical box and ran with their telescope to the bottom of Mount Twinkletop. Hello! Are you headed up to see the meteor shower? Meteor shower? Why, yes. Tonight the sky will be filled with shooting stars. Say, why don't we watch it together? That would be great! And we can look at the planets through my telescope, too. Wow. But the meteor shower doesn't start until after dark, so you better go inside and take a nap. Meet me up top at sunset, okay? Sure. See you at sunset. Kit and Kate went inside the cabin and laid down to take a nap. Just think of all the shooting stars we're going to see tonight. And all the wishes we can make. I'm going to wish that I could turn into a balloon and float up to the clouds. And I'm going to wish that I had a neck like a giraffe so I could eat apples right from the tree. Well, I wish I could fall asleep, but I'm too excited. Me too. Then let's just play till it's time to go. How about <gasps> tug of war? Sure. Ready? Go! <laughs> 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 My arms are tired. Mine too. I know. Let's hop around on one leg. Okay. <laughs> Gee, my legs are tired. My whole body is tired. But we gotta stay up or we'll miss the star shower. Right. Then you watch me and I'll watch you and we'll make sure we don't fall asleep. Good idea. But don't even blink. Hey, where were you? Huh? The shooting stars were amazing. You mean we missed it? Yeah, it's over. Well, maybe next time. When's next time? In a hundred years. So long. A hundred years? Oh. Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kitties? We fell asleep and missed tonight's shooting star shower. How come? Didn't you take a nap today? We tried to take a nap, but we couldn't fall asleep. So we just played all afternoon, and that made us so tired we fell asleep just before it was time to leave. And why couldn't you fall asleep when you laid down for your nap? Because we were so excited talking about all the things we could wish for. Wait, did you lie down to take a nap? or to talk to each other. To take a nap. Oh, I understand. When it's time to take a nap, you need to quiet down so you can fall asleep. Thanks, Mom. Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kit. But this time when we lay down for our nap, we'll stay nice and quiet. And then it'll be a lot easier to fall asleep. Now we know, so back we go! Kit and Kate started their stargazing adventure all over again, but this time when they reached the cabin... I can't wait to see that shooting star shower tonight. Me neither, but now it's time for a nap. Right, so that means it's quiet time. Sweet dreams. And by letting themselves calm down, Kit and Kate were able to fall asleep for an energizing nap. And when they woke, they were rested and ready to watch the shooting stars from the tippy top of Mount Twinkletop. I see one! Me too! Make a wish! I, I wish, wish that, that Kate, Kate gets everything she ever wishes, wishes for. for! Thanks! <laughs> Where will we go? Who will we be? 
What will we do? Who will we see? It sure will be fun. That much we know. Go, go, kitties, let's go. Go, kitty, kitties, let's go. <laughs> ducky see, ducky do. What do you want to play today, Kate? Let's look in the box. Look, bathing suits. And swim goggles. We can go play in the water. Yeah, at Super Splash Park. Super Splash Tastic. Go, go kitty, kitty kitties, let's go! Kid and Kate jumped out of their magical box and headed straight for Super Splash Park. They could hardly wait to start playing in the water. Hi, ducks. Doesn't this place look like fun? <laughs> fun? It looks awesome! Ooh, rubber rafts and an octopus. And a pirate ship. Arg! <laughs> Come on, let's go! But when they got inside, the park didn't look quite like it did in the picture. Kate, Super Splash Park doesn't look super at all. I mean, look, this rubber raft is no good. <laughs> Well, don't make it worse, Kit. Come on, it's just one little patch. It was gonna fall off anyway. <laughs> this place stinks. Come on, Kit. It might not be perfect, but we can still have fun playing, right? Yeah, right. See, Mr. Octopus looks okay. Mm, kinda. Kinda junky, Kate. Look at these tentacles. They're all bent. Hey, quit it, Kit. It was already broken. Look, it's all messed up over here, too. And look at this ship. These masts are falling right over. you do? The park is ruined. Now we can't even play even if we wanted to. Oh, oh no. no! Then along came a mysterious stranger. What's wrong, kitties? The ducks totally destroyed the water park. Oh, wow. Did they break all of this? Well, almost all of it. Well, who else was breaking things? Um, I broke a couple things, but it was just little stuff, like the tip of an octopus arm. Yeah, but nothing like the ducks. They wrecked the whole park. Whoa. Where do you think the ducks got the idea that it was okay to break things at all? Maybe after they saw me pull that patch off the rubber raft, they figured it was okay for them to break stuff. Huh. And what do you think might have happened if you'd fixed the leaky rafts instead? Maybe they would have fixed stuff too. Hey. I get it. Setting a bad example can make more bad things happen. But setting a good example can help good things happen. Thanks, Thanks Mom! Hey, how did you know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again, Kate. But this time, I'll try to set a good example for the ducks. Now we know, so back we go! Kid and Kate started their water park adventure all over again. But this time when they saw something broken... This raft just needs a little patching up. There! That was easy! Yay! It works now! And when the ducks saw Kit fix something, they wanted to fix things too. I wonder where they got that idea. What else can we fix? And soon, Super Splash Park looked even more super than the picture. A place where anyone would be happy to play. And thanks to Kit, Kate, and the ducks, happy is just what they were. Ready? Whee!